When Planck's theory first appeared, there was no great celebration. It could have been a lucky guess or an ad hoc explanation. That means an explanation that worked for this experiment but had no great power for explaining other phenomena. Many years and many experiments would be required before the full depth of the quantum hypothesis would be appreciated. In future videos, I hope to tell some of those stories in depth, but for now I just want to touch on them to let you know how fully the quantum theory has been verified. Working with the tip from black body radiation, physicists started finding many phenomena that could be explained. The first was the photoelectric effect in 1905. And then the spectral lines of hydrogen were explained in the 20s. A giant explosion of applications occurred in the 20s after it was found that electrons also have wave-like behavior. The quantum theory went on to predict features of solid-state experiments such as heat capacity and Josephson junctions. Even more satisfying were the number of qualitative puzzles that were solved. The idea of indistinguishable particles was problematic in classical physics, but was required to explain entropy in statistical physics. This problem, known as Gibbs paradox, went away with quantum field theory. Experimental data began to show that the universe is divided into what are now called fermions and bosons. Classical physics had no way of explaining this, but it's basic with quantum field theory. And then there's antimatter, which was first detected in the early 1930s. It is also predicted by quantum field theory. The verification process took a long time because physicists were schooled in Newton's ideas and not in quantum field theory. Also, the process was hampered when new infinite predictions kept cropping up. It wasn't until 1949 that these infinities began to be understood. That led to new predictions that were verified with more experiments. Now, after more than 100 years, we have also made some high-precision tests of quantum theory. Some of the famous tests are the magnetic moment of electrons and muons, Josephson junction frequencies, the wavelength of neutrons, and the quantum Hall effect. These experiments agreed with theory to better than one part per billion. Unless you think this is all esoteric White Tower science, the practical applications have also been non-trivial. Here's a short list. Cell phones, cameras, disk drives, computers, medical imaging such as MRIs and PET scanners, lasers and LEDs, and don't forget baking bread. Thus, quantum theory has become the best verified theory in the history of science, surpassing Newton's idea of objects and forces. Newton's laws are now considered approximations that come from quantum field theory when taken to the classical limit. Now, in 2013, our most basic theory is called the Standard Model. It's a quantum field theory, and its predictions have recently been verified in the largest scientific experiment ever conducted, the Large Hadron Collider. The Standard Model does not make predictions for how gravity will work. But the quantum hypothesis is so firmly established that many physicists believe quanta for gravity will be found, even though there is currently no experimental evidence for them. Thus, in a little over 100 years, we've gone from an ad hoc explanation of a single phenomenon to one of the most universal scientific principles ever discovered. It's a big story, and it all started with black body radiation. Thanks for watching.